let us do our confession of faith. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Let us greet one another. Church position is a blessing and a glory. And so this title is Jesus who called those who you wanted will deliver the word today. Today, the tours for the year 2024 have been announced and we have hand out the booklets with each department. The characteristic for the 2024 is that we will activate the regions. We, we made a new department for the regional evangelism. So that and also we set up, we also assign the new officers for this ministry that how they can evangelize the regions. And also we are, are preparing for the evangelism evangelism uh, evangelist for the our long distant family. There's a there's a one person who believed in Jesus and became a deacon and he went to heaven. He found, so he found his mission for that and he set his heart to evangelize the long distant family. You know, in hell cannot see heaven. I can, the, you can see the, the story of Mark that the rich person died and he, he went to hell and the beggar Nazaro went to heaven. The, the rich said, the rich person said that to God, in heaven cannot see hell, but heaven can see heaven. That's why he requests to God, we you, you ask Nazar to come down to the earth to evangelize his family, but he could. But, he can, but God says he can. You, so, this long distance family, there are a lot of families around you who are not believing in Jesus, right? You just. It doesn't whether they die or not. Let me just go to heaven. If they, but probably you guys don't have that kind of heart. But there are a lot of long distance families. So we're going to investigate. We're going to ex investigate all those families that we will go after. We will go visit them. So wherever it says, wow, well, the one that Deacon says that I will go every places just to evangelize, well, even to overseas. He will contact them. So, so we have every contacts in our regions. This is something only ministry that we have in our church, not some. So we have this long distance family ministry will take place. So as you hold on to the word of A Amos 9.12, may all donations be possessed for the year 2023. We also we assign two three seven elders and church officers, older believers, including the young adults and remnants, all of them. By the guidance of the Holy Spirit, they pick out their pick hand picked by their hand pick one nation. And that's how we see the answers of this covenant. Now we are at the end at the at the point of preparing for the year 2024, then how have you handled your given stewardship this year? May you be able to deeply, wholly meditate upon this week and make a new resolution regarding of your tw year of 2024. Especially, we do not announce the new stewardships at the beginning of the year, but a month in advance. The reason is for this is to have one is time. 
the region, your district, place, your department, ministry, all those who are new stewardship assigned people had to form one is first to start a new year. May you spiritually prepare and have the time to meet your new co-workers and having one is with all the wise, with the co-workers. It, it's so important to have this time of oneness. Even in family, even the nation, even the tribe, even the world has to form oneness. Because this not are taking place, you can see how the, the world is going is is going right now. That is the mini that is the sign of their not forming oneness. This is especially important. In doing the work of the Lord, what is most important is having oneness. Oneness cannot be emphasized enough to start the spiritual expanding the kingdom of God. Even you say let us bring our let us bring a revival, let us go to thirty seven nations, but if you not, do not form oneness, this thing cannot be take place. The spiritual start has to be takes place. And Satan tries to break oneness no matter what. What it takes and tries to devour us like a roaring lion going around to devour. All those are shirk, all those are in conflict, those are weak in faith to capture them. And they Satan make use that person to break oneness. But once we form oneness, there's a, a tremendous power will come. We emerge. We come G two. Once our north and south when they united when we combine all those things and united in everything, actually our Asian, Korean people are, have many three-digit numbers of IQ. So you can see just Korea, culture, and all those things are really famous throughout the world. Even the king come to, came to Korea. That's how our Korean level is right now. That's why Apostle Paul had stressed that the Holy Spirit makes us be one and we must keep this. It is not just keeping it, but it's not just taking place, you have to keep it. Because Satan will try to break this oneness. We break the committee, we break the unity, we destroy the, the department to fall into trials, to have a doubt, to not form oneness no matter what. And Satan do this kind of tricks. Those who are not receiving grace. That's where to protect it. It is because our enemy devil attacks to break this. So we must not be deceived. How should we not be deceived? How can we not be deceived? You must have the eyes of the gospel. It is all matter is your eyes. You must have these eyes of the gospel. You have to look each other with the eyes of the gospel. I always take, tell you this, right? I'm okay, you're okay, and everyone is okay. With, but if you do not look at the, the people with the eyes of the gospel, with but legalism, you're right. Uh, you're wrong, I'm right, and everything is, is wrong, and everything is correct. It's like I kill, that you, you kill themselves and you kill yourself as well. But the gospel, it saves them, it saves you. That's the eyes of the gospel. That's why, with the, all the stereotypes, ideal, all your stereotypes, fixed ideas, you have to, you have to throw it away. You have to get out from it. Oh, I some say that person is like that. Some person he was, uh, that person was like that before. He says something like this. All those like communication, it's even it's not a truth. All those words you keep hearing from someone. And people around you, all those, those voices, you must not catch by those things. But that's how Satan tricks you, through people. Just in the Eden of Garden, does Satan hand out, hand, 
give an apple to Eve? No. Eve himself, herself picked the fruit of the knowledge and good and evil. Even you before meet them, before you confirm it, even it's not a fact. You never have a conversation with that person. You say, oh, that person is like that. Oh, that's what people said. With that, with all that prejudice ties and fixed ideas and stereotypes, are you going to look at that person? That's how Satan planned, set up all those words from other people. That's how when you look at that person, we never have oneness. That's why the churches are crumbling. There's one monk suicide. But what the the government gave, they gave an, a medal of honor those people, the person who committed their suicide. Does the Han Gi Chong give honor medal to that to a president of Han Gi Chong Korean National Christianity? No, they don't give it. But the Buddhist, even he committed suicide, that monk is a famous person and popular, so the de the president himself gave a medal to that person. That's the trick of, of Satan. Satan don't have to attack Catholic church or the Buddhism temple. But Satan only attacks the church, that's where the church is is crumbling. What is the characteristic of man is is self center is se is standard of himself that's how we look at people with the perspective of of genesis 3 when you look at people we are a new creation in christ we are new creation in Christ. Please do not caught up by your past. God gave us new day today. Then you have to live a new life. But why are you, the things that you are of your past? Why you keep drag those things into your life today? Once you bring, brought all your glory, it becomes your pride. Once you bring of your past, that will become your scars. Let us confess together. I'm a new creation. So, so with a new perspective, with the three only, with the eyes of only, you have to look at people. What is three only? It is only Christ, only kingdom of God, and the only the filling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must have the spiritual focus on this. Only Christ. As I enjoy Christ, as I enjoy the kingdom of God, as I enjoy the filling of the Holy Spirit, that's all you have to be emphasized. Just confirm these three, these, these three things, then you will not be deceived by the introductory things. All you see is the introductory things. All the voice of people, that's all introduction. You, as you remember the words of God, but the words of people you remember of your eternity like f at least four days but the word that you receive today once you go out from this place you can remember but all the boys all the words of people you are captured by that word but why so that satan tricks you satan tricks you gives you a scar may you focus on the main content the, ch the church duty that you have been given is the main content driving life. As I do the work of God, works of God, or the work of God, for God, before God, in the name of Christ, that only will remain. The rest of it will not be, for, will be remembered. That's why the main content content is the one who puts their effort for the eternity. There's a reason why God gives you a new church worship every year. It is because that is the path of blessing that you will receive for that year. It's not your by your name, oh, I will do it. I have this power. That's all fakes. That's all frauds. They are liars. You must do it before God, 
to receive this blessing. Moreover, God will give you the strength to able to bear that church duty. So strangely, God gave you strength and power. That's why as you have to do the works of God as to the point where you feel like you are live, you are live or die. And God will give you that power and blessing. You must experience that. Oh, God will give me a new strength. Without that, how can we carry out the missions that are given by God with by our power? No. It was first Peter four ten to eleven passage. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's buried grace. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To Him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. With the strength pro provided by God, we must carry out His work. That's why we don't have to be in fried. We don't have to be arrogant because we do the works of God through the power of God. The, what is that source of that power? It is the Word of God. You must receive the grace from God. That's why your works, your ministry will be easy. Everything, every work is, will be simple and will be triumph because you receive the gr grace from the Word. It starts with a spiritual flow from the writing the puppet 24 hours. This is where the responsibility of the ministry begins. Those who receive grace, they can see it. They say, say, whatever you give to me, I will do it by the Lord, uh, to, for the Lord. There's no one have a lot of uh, church duties or position like me in this Church of Korea. Some, I I asked the, the the place the position of president to some to I asked the per, the person about to that school that to give my position to other person but they say I we can it's only you can hand, carry out this mission for once a year and I of course it's really burden it's so uh, frustrating at some point but we must do this by the work by the power of by the strength given by God. We can... The good stewards is the one who live the life for the sake of glory of God. It is the life as biblical stewards align completely with God's will and plan. Especially as stewards, stewards there is the spiritual awareness that you must firm, firmly hold on to. That is the very topic of today's message. The one who has called you is none other than Jesus. There are all the people here, You got, there is someone who has called you, but there's the fundamental calling is Jesus. It, moreover, Jesus called you because he desired to do. Jesus won you. It is a sovereign call of Jesus Christ. It is a uh, absolute calling of Jesus. Even you say, I don't want to go to church. I didn't want to go to church, but God has called you. That is the sovereign call of Jesus. How do we call this calling? We call this the calling of Jesus as grace. The fact that I exist is solely due to the complete grace of God. As expressed in this spiritual confession of within your heart every day, Oh, it, it was the grace of God. It is the grace of God. And in the there are, there are around 5,100 church duties were assigned. As you give thanks to God, 
may you fully follow the purpose and reason of his call. May, may you, I bless you in the name of the Lord to become the absolute disciples of Christ. The first title is the source of calling. Let us read 13. And he went up on the mountain and called to him those who he desire. And they came to him. As we live our faith, walk of faith, this uh, it's uh, there's something that you must is, always remember is that is spiritual consciousness that I am called I have called by Jesus you must have this have this calling of uh, this sense of calling some people give top up because it does not match with their standard or their level they don't have this sense of calling without that sense of calling they give up what does Jesus said he calls the one he desires it's not anybody else he calls the one he desires especially in the origin of this call why did God call you in order to save you in order to save you salvation is a starting point of our spiritual lives and above all, what we must not miss is that the consciousness of call to this salvation is the absolute grace of God. It is the absolute grace of God. Without His grace, we cannot be saved. That's why Apostle Paul confesses that this fact in Ephesians 1, 3 to 5, Praise to be God and Father, our God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love, predestined us from adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in contest with his pressure and his will before the creation of this world you are you see salvation when you're old right now but before the creation of this world before you are formed in the your mother's womb before the, even before that you are predestined to be saved to see salvation so how amazing is that right and we were chosen before the foundation of the world. God chose us before we were even formed in the womb. That's why it is the absolute grace of God. And we are called of, to salvation according to God's time schedule. That's why Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 2a, that salvation is entirely God's grace and gift. We cannot believe in Jesus by our effort, by our belief, because if you're not chosen, but because you're in the plan of in the plan of salvation of God, that's why you we are able to believe in God. We cannot meet God by ourselves. We were enemies of God, but through Jesus Christ, we receive salvation. That is the absolute grace of God. God Himself has opened the path of restoration. Let us re reconcile. With this enemies of God, let us reconcile with God. The method was Jesus Christ. God sent His Son Jesus to resolve all our sins because God is God is holy. That's why Jesus had to die on the cross and shed His blood, and He f bear all our sins and curses. That's why we are saved. That's what we call redemption. Our relationship with God are being restored. Our relationship with the blessing of God, Eden of Garden, has been restored. And that is the absolute grace of God. So, what we can do is to is be thankful, right? Those who have this thanksgiving of salvation, all they give thanks to God is salvation. Because if you do not have the thanksgiving of salvation, that means you do not have the assurance of salvation. Are you thankful? If we die today, we go to heaven. We should be thankful. Look at the person who died on the fire, in the fire. Have you heard of the the president of the Korean Church uh, Church Christianity Communist Society? Have you ever heard that? Once you commit suicide. You go to hell. Even if you want to die, your life doesn't belong to you, it belongs to God. 
Those who are children of God, especially those who have received new worship today, you must have this joy of salvation. Uh, God called me and God saved me. Now God cast me by Himself. How thankful is that? The starting point of strength to do our duty is the gratitude for salvation. You must not lose heart of this uh, thanksgiving of salvation. Those who are going to church for a long period, long time, they don't have this uh, thanksgiving salvation. All those who have, especially those who are born as Christian, born as Christian, they don't have much have this kind of uh, thanksgiving of salvation. The time that given thanks to God or because of their eternal life. If we are not filled with the life of the gospel, we cannot fulfill our duties. Is the is this it makes does this make you money? It's all about giving, devotion and de devoting and within this world, how can we carry out this mission? Especially within your heart. If you do not if you don't have this life of thanksgiving, this joy of this thanks salvation, you don't if you don't have the joy of calling, how can you give influence to others by the gospel? Spiritual influence. You can not give this influence. That's why Apostle Paul emphasized in Philippians four, rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. In the book of Philippians, Apostle Paul confessed that no matter what his circumstances may be, he will rejoice and be glad as long as Jesus Christ is proclaimed. In fact, Paul received a lot of, of mis a lot of hardship within within doing the works of God. He has a, a, a tremendous background, right? He has a really a strong background. He has a good academy. He has a good fam a best of best family. And he believed in Jesus. He cast out. He was kicked out from his family. And, f and as believing Jesus, after after believing in Jesus, three in, after three days, he has to run away. And then within that, he shared the gospel. He was beaten half to death. He was cast out. He was kicked out from the village, and there's a dangers of his people, dangers of the sea. And what does Paul say? He was rejoiced all the time. How amazing is that? Isn't isn't that strange? And then, but what? Regardless of your situation, may you be. Rejoice. May you be thankful. Absolute thanksgiving. You don't need a reason to be thankful. Why does that? Why does that people say these things to me? You might feel hop helpless when someone when someone says it bad about you. You feel, of course, you. There's someone who dr drag drags your power. Then, but. Apostle Paul translated all things. He translated everything. As I do my pastoral ministry, you could not imagine how hard, how many hardships that I received. They always say bad on, about me. They always all the, such of, of words to me. They actually they came to me and said, deliver the words of of others. There are some people who deliver some bad, bad news and bad stories about people. How when, when that person came to me and said something, I said, Oh Lord, is this my work or your is it your work or my work? It is the work of the Lord. May God take care of it. But even though this person is kind of rushed in everything, but he I, I wait. I wait the time schedule of God. I never hate person because I hate the person, the, the existence of Satan who works through that person. I never hate someone. Oh, that person. Of course, and then you cannot pray. And Jesus said you have to go reconcile, reconcile your, with that person because that, that's what Jesus said. 
Oh, that's how Satan plays with a person again. There's no loss to me, right? The sight that Satan, by God, does all come to an answer. How come that person can do that? Can do that this do this to me? I'm gonna kill him, and then we will kill you, and you will, you will kill him, or you will kill yourself as well, in spiritually. That's why Apostle Paul. Someone mocks about Paul. Someone scores about Paul. They say, oh, now Paul, Apostle Paul is in prison. Now let's all share the gospel. Then disciple came to me and said, deliver this news, news to Paul. But Apostle Paul said, it doesn't matter. As long as the Jesus is proclaimed, I am rejoiced and I will be glad. That's what Apostle Paul confessed. The absolute thanksgiving. You know, that's why the book of the reason for this is, is contained in the words of the Philippians. That's why I publish after the Philippian sermon is is called Rejoice and Being Glad. I encourage all of you have been given stewardship today. May you have a time to med meditate on the words of the Philippians again. You must come to the church with a smile face. If you come with a, this kind of face, if you go go other place like that, you're making you bring the forces of darkness with you through you. Even as you go to the ministry department, special like special ministry department or addiction like disability ministry, like North Korea ministry, all those people have a lot of scars. Especially today at 2 p.m., I'm going to meet a newcomers. For 50 percent have insomnia, a sleeping disorder, or the hardship disease. Uh, I call it addiction. Starting with that, almost 50 percent of the newcomers they came because they couldn't die. Should I deliver other words to that person? I must proclaim only gospel. Only the spiritual words has to be delivered. And we have to look in spiritual perspective. Whether that person do something strange, oh, that must that person need healing. But if you do not look at that person like in that way, you are killing that person in spiritually, as a minister. So may you meditate the Philippian sermons that I gave once again. Once you deal with, if you emotionally react, or if you deal emotionally, you will be deceived by Satan, and oneness will be lost. One may, one though, there will be no place for oneness. So you need to be filled with God's absolute grace and thanksgiving. God's grace. God's absolute thanksgiving. You, this has to be feel within you. You have to look other things with the eyes of the gospel to interpret everything with the gospel so that you can see the guys of the Holy Spirit. You can see the words of God. You must not go left or right by your emotion, by your thoughts. I hope may you interpret everything with the eyes of the gospel. Let me give you a spiritual tip. When things do not go as well as planted, or when when your thoughts are different, what must you do? And you will come to misunderstand other people, and you will feel hard, and you will feel hard. But you have to say it can be so. Or in that per per person's perspective, it can be so. It can be so. You must hold on to this. All those stewardship. All the swords today, you must have this mindset that it can be so. Oh, it can be. It could be. Thus, you must have to come to com confess. In order to receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, I always have this my mindset and confess that oh, in that person's situation, he can be like that. He can be so. Because we are all imperfect beings until we stand before Lord, before the Lord, until we go back to heaven we are still all under, consecra under consecration the person I, 
I really hate the most is the one who who thinks himself as perfect or perfect person or complete person and judge other people who who is the one who is perfect just live as yourself not just pretending have you have a good faith please do not be pretend that will not last longer you will live a really hard life just live how god created you how how much bad is it to be foolish or to make mistakes right that's why you will be not be deceived you must not have anyone you hate in your heart like people are saying that i don't want to sear back of your hair it would and that's something that you must be healed you must go before that person i'm sorry i hate you i in fact i hate you through my heart but even the person doesn't know you let us be reconciled and the forces of darkness will flee as you realize you will realize the nature of the problem and move toward the place of oneness so I bless you, all your believers and source in the name of the Lord to become a gospel community that fulfills the covenant of oneness in all circumstances to overflow with absolute thanksgiving for the source of calling in your life. The second title is Mission of Calling. When Jesus called his disciple, he said that he called those he wanted. The word that he was called, there was a will and purpose. There is a reason. That is the real the meaning of code is uh, con it contains the word of a uh, call of purpose and will mark the author of the book of mark showed us that when he that when jesus was doing his lifetime ministry including barriers of works and healing large crowds had flocked to him there was uh, news about jesus so people are following jesus when you look at the other lead as you go back to your home read from verses one all those who have demons possess all those who have all the disease jesus healed them when jesus healed them how much people following follow jesus how many people and after that after that jesus called 12 disciples there's a our reason for this of author of the book it is about the difference between the crowds and the disciples all those who follow jesus they're all crowds but jesus call his disciple crowds and disciples are different so the crowds and the disciples are different there's a, a significant difference between crowds and disciples or lies in whether there is a is there a clear sense of calling or missions or not is having this clear sense of missions and calling or not that distinguish the crowds and the disciples those who have a definite faith about their calling do not live a life sway away by the crowd instead they have Inquited with the unique spiritual attitude, engaging in covenantal challenges outlined, they do not settle for their life of complacency, but they stay aligned with the flow of the puppet. They keep growing spiritually. They soar like an eagle spiritually. As you get a steward or church duty or church officer of church office, church position as even as you get all whatever you do as your sunday school teacher as you clean up the the church as you do uh, as you work at the parking lots if you don't do that you have to do something at least in order to god bless you you have to go to the field evangelist in the field as you say your time go to a park and evangelize as you join the evangelist team to evangelize you have to do at least something you have to go out to make the spiritual movement we cannot give 
the same position to the same person over and over again because we because as we get old, right? The church has to be younger, more and more. We have to go forward. What is my church duty? What is my church position? You just do as the work of the Lord. Look at the choir team. There's a missing place, missing seat. Uh, before you God, you must make the the channel and the path to receive great receive blessing from God. At least, you must not make excuse before God. You must not say those things in that place. You are missionary. You are evangelist. Those who are saved, child of God. You are the evangelist and the missionary that you must proclaim the gospel to, the, because you, because your field right now that's a mission field. So before God, you must soar. And you have to be to grow. If but if you say, uh, I don't want to do anything. I don't need any church duty or church of church position. Then your life will end. Then you just go to heaven. Should I say more? I will say in in a funny way. But if you don't, if you don't want to die, receive the church position. Actually, there's a church that only the senior pastors who are retired are worshiping together. How come? Is there a retirement for the pastor? We have to, we have to share the gospel to the last breath of our life. We must share the gospel to. As you go to the park, as you go to the hospital, as you go to the field, why are you just sit down and play? That's how the Church of the World, Church of the Korea. All those retired pastors. There's a law in in America that you, you can't. The, even the church that you establish, you raise. Once you retire, you cannot get, do anything within that church. It by that is said by law. Can you just sit down and do nothing until we start stand before the Lord? May you soul in spiritually. We must get out from the faith of the crowd. You must have the faith as a disciple. Mark 14, uh, 30, 14 to 15. And he appointed 12, 12, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him and might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. Jesus clearly provides the answer as to why he set, separate the disciples from the crowds. Primarily, Jesus called his disciples to be with him. There's a reason for this. It is to have training. It wasn't just merely about being together, but it, but it carried out the meaning of to get training. What's the purpose of being together? Oh, I must train with him. There's a meaning of training. Through the time of being together, the purpose was to allow them naturally observe and learn from Jesus through the opportunities of being able to be with together. Yet, Jesus was not physically present with us in the same way as today. So how can we be with Jesus in this age? Is, is God a person? No. God, Jesus is the Word. There is a Word in the beginning. In the beginning, there was a Word, and the Word is with us, and that Word is Jesus Christ in John 1. Jesus is not the picture that the artist draw. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Word. And what is the reason? What is the method to be with God? Is to it is to by it is to is it is by the Word and prayer. The desires and plans Jesus are found in the Scriptures in the Bible, serving as the manual for the work of faith. Through prayer and one can overcome their own thoughts, bias, and persecutions and align oneself with the word and direction. Pastor A. W. Toaster emphasizing, saying, God calls people to be first worshipers. You must become the first or you must become the worshipers before God. And then you do the works. Do the works of the Lord after the worship. And making them worshipers before he makes them to be workers. Thus, the God calls his people. 
if you do not worship, then you, when you work in the during worship time, then that is really ridiculous. Not just going around to do a lot of works without worship, that is really ridiculous. When you worship, when you succeed in worship, if you do not worship, everything will go wrong. The priority lies in the becoming worshiper first. At this, you must not miss Friday worship service or special Sunday worship. But of course, you you would, cannot make an excuse about Friday and, and Sunday worship. We have five thousand church position swords. Can you miss worship? How can you receive answers then? If you cannot write the flow, the string of the word, then if you are f do something else, you say something, something else. That's why the important thing is, as you have oneness in the meeting, or at this five minutes, have five time five minutes of forum with the proper message it, it tells it will reveals in spiritually that word and prayer in today's passage we can see the re re reason jesus called disciples was to be with them the first one is to receive worship receive grace receive word that's the first and the calling of jesus is to keep us mission however we should Recognize that this calling with a mission is not it's not just a coincidence, but it's a part of God's absolute plan. In Jeremiah one five, God speaking to Jeremiah says, "Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrate I consecrate you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations." Order your own church believers especially those who are called as towards today, should clearly remember this statement. Before you are before you are formed in the womb, you are consecrated. You must know your spiritual value and you must carry out the church duty. Of course, this, there's a lot of barriers of church duty in the church, the Lord, the Lord of us as a steward. But the most important thing is, you must realize that the spiritual value of the position appointed before you is not, there's no kind of high and low. It is assigned to you in the time schedule of God that we are to receive the position with thanksgiving and carry it out with the faith. In Matthew 25, even though the servant receive every position with them, even though they receive different talents, the praise was some praise was the same of those who are faithful. Well done, good faith, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in a charge of many things. Whatever church duty is assigned to you, then you will receive your rewards to you. So. In the name of the Lord, I pray that all the swords of your own church having the spiritual attitude of Christians. In, and may you become the, the good servant, good servant call, being called in the end of the 2023. And this is the conclusion. The book title, Breaking Away from the Familiarity. It says here, the con you must be... The content reflects the urgency of embr embr embracing change and innovation will in the rapid in this era. Once you just if you not break your if you not break your from all your familiarity you will be f falling behind 
falling behind. You must have this spiritual awareness. Now, the old has gone, that, and now new has come. All the swords today, you must have this calling of heaven, heaven calling, personal calling, and mission. In the name of the Lord, I bless you. In the name of the Lord, to become the summit and possess all nations. Let us pray together. Father, all those people who are called by you, all those who you desire, God, you called us. As we believe that we have that convict, that faith and assurance, as you expect your blessings towards us, help us to become that source that you desire. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name we pray.